Hello, I'm Ms Jenny Nan. And I'm Mix Margaret Jones. My fiance Margaret is an androgyne. I'm a cisgender woman. Margaret and I make a great couple. All my family love her. It's wrong to claim that allowing marriage equality for same-sex couples and trans and intersex people will erode or somehow damage the institution of marriage. Nothing could be further from the truth. This debate is about marriage equality. It's about two people who want to seal their relationship in marriage, regardless of their gender. In reality, the campaign against marriage equality is an attempt to suppress us, to put us back in the model and make us invisible again. Marriage rates for heterosexual and cisgender people, that is, non-transgender people, have been historically low for decades with fewer couples getting married and divorce rates high. This has had serious effects on families and extended families. <clears throat> I know this for myself as I've been divorced for 14 years with two young children. And it was difficult, but I'm looking forward to getting married again. Allowing same-sex, transgender and intersex couples to use the civil contract known as marriage will enhance the concept of the family. LGBTI families form in many ways and they include blended families with children from previous relationships. These children should not be denied a happy and secure family life. Okay. Accepting the reality of our inherent or intrinsic equality as LGBTI people, because despite unequal treatment, we are and always have been equal, and allowing us to marry will surely boost the concept and practice of marriage. Marriage as a social contract predates all modern religions by thousands of years. And there is no reason why churches should have any veto over it. They do not have a monopoly on love. Modern marriage is about love and nurturing relationships. And I think we can all agree that these are good things. But until very recent times, marriage was not usually about love and caring at all. It was about protecting women and children as objects owned by men. Nothing to do with protecting women and children for their own benefit and nothing to do with loving couples. We, we want to marry for the modern reasons of love and nurturing. The current marriage law has caused great hardship to many transgender and intersex Australians. Often, trans people are required to get divorced in order to change their legally documented sex or gender. Many of us have been forced to divorce our loved ones so we can change our official identification. This is much worse and more frustrating than you might imagine, as these identification changes are crucial in many ways to our well-being and the well-being of our families. Some intersex Australians have birth certificates which identify their sex as indeterminate mm. rather than as male or female. They may have no disability whatsoever, yet they may not marry simply because marriage is still only between a man and a woman. It's inappropriate to name a non-binary or envy person like myself as a husband or a wife. <laughs> <laughs> Yet that is what the current law requires. Some of us will marry in a religious ceremony because some of us are Christian, such as myself, or Jewish, Muslim, Hindu, Buddhist, and so on. We might even use a church or some other place of worship. Changing the law to enable marriage equality will help to save the modern social institution of two people in love coming together in a civil legal contract 
to properly secure the future of themselves and their families. Please, please, please vote, vote yes, yes. <laughs> for marriage equality in Australia for same sex, transgender, and intersex couples. If you want to preserve and strengthen the institution of marriage, vote, vote yes. yes. <laughs> if you want to support children growing up in loving families with committed parents, vote, vote yes. yes. If you want all couples and their children to have the same rights to hospital, vis hospital visits, shared taxation, inheritance and many other entitlements. When people are treated equally, everyone benefits. Let's get equality for all couples in Australia who want to formally commit to each other. Thank you. Thank you. Please check you are registered for the postal vote by the 24th of August 2017 and get your postal ballot posted back well before the 7th of November because that's the deadline. Please see the links for more information on how to do that and for explanations of the terms we've used such as mix, mix androgyne, cisgender, transgender, intersex, non-binary and envy. Thank you. Thank you. Did you mess up anything there? I don't think so. <laughs> Not majorly think... anyway. <laughs> I think we're done done. I think we're done.